Hey, what's up, buddy? Agamat today, and today we got a pretty unique weapon. Actually, the first of its kind, a dual weapon scaling weapon. Um, it is kind of like a very long sword. I forgot the name of it. It's in Japanese, but it's a very long sword. And um, it has a pretty hefty requirement of 60 medium and 40 heavy. So that's 100 points to even equip it, right? Um, but the scaling can go crazy because in total it does have 10.4 scaling. So you can probably get a ton of damage with this thing. And the stats also are pretty crazy as well, which they should be for such high investment, right? Um, this has a pretty, we already have a pretty high base damage of 20. 30% pen, which is really fat. Um, obviously the scaling 6.2 and 4.2 you have six weight 10 range which is actually like with that little poke at the start could be really devastating just look at that poke distance man that thing is going to be hitting far and then it has 0.7 swing speed as well which is also pretty fast for a heavy but also kind of slow for medium so i kind of like that it's in between and we have a plus 10 percent on it so yeah the idea of this weapon is that it's kind of supposed to be again a pretty strong uh dual weapon scaling oh actually this is a perfect opportunity to try and show it off right so let's use the crit right here um let's use it right here okay i guess it doesn't insta guard break right there um but there's actually a pretty uh interesting mechanic of there being the first slide critical take a look at this see look at that as you guys can see whenever i do a slide critical it's basically like the Monty Cotty slide but except with just the critical now you can also uh extend it afterwards as well right so you can like do a like a click midway to do th the regular crit right after you do the slide crit right but for some reason i won't lie it's very hard to kind of hit right so i'm gonna try it here real quick yeah i wasn't able to hit it right usually we'll do it right after but it's very inconsistent right uh, but besides that, right, uh, I feel like the best thing you're going to get out of this is being able to use that slide crit over and over again because that has a, it's 10 range all around you. So it can hit behind you as well, right? Um, let's just go ahead and take care of these guys real quick. One more thing I'm going to interject real quick before I show you guys the double crit is actually the fact that it's, um, it's actually a ragdoll, dude. The crit is a ragdoll. Take a look. See how it gets knocked back, right? Like, I feel like there's a lot you can do to work with that, right? So real quick, I'm going to show you an example of what I was actually doing. I'm going to do like a pressure blast here. And then into the bam see that okay they're gonna get mad at me right but you see like how i'm able to like kind of work with things like wayward so what's happening is that the crit actually has um it has like a lot of active frames i think it's called right so it will continuously keep doing like damage as long as like people are around the crit they'll get hit right which is why uh whenever it gets parried there are multiple like uh, parry frames right um so a good example see how right at the end even though like the crit was already pretty much done he was able to parry it right at the end if he wasn't parrying i would have hit him and he would have fell over which is actually i think a, a pretty big strength about it but you have to be careful because um it's basically like a multi-hit that makes sense if they parry it which can kind of be bad for you so it has its ups and downs let's go on to the double crit all right there you guys go that's a pretty clear example of me using the second part of the crit right there that was a lot more easily like able to be seen so yeah, that does a lot of damage. I think like the slide one does a little less. I got maybe like 40 or 45 damage. And then the second part of the crit or the original crit is like 60 with like the stats I have right now. So let's go into Chime. Let's see how good it is. And uh, yeah, all right, chat. We're going to be trying out the build uh, with the weapon now. See what we can do with a little combo here. And best of all, I, I think we need to showcase, right? That um, dude, the weapon actually has the knockback on like uh, its main like standing crit landing, dude. Which I think is like pretty crazy, right? Like, look at this. See how it knocks him back a little bit? Like, that can definitely be used to like combo up pretty well, in my opinion. Let's get a clone off. Knock him back here into the pressure blast. Into the. Ooh, oh, no. Rapid slash is that. Nice. Ooh, oh my goodness. Nice little combo there. Oh my god. That was, that was nasty, dude. That was nasty. This build. <laughs> this build is also just not the best but um to be honest even though it's not like a mid-match build i feel like there's a lot you can do to make this weapon fun so far um let's get into another match and show off what we can do some more all right we're against the curved user uh man i pretty good that event but oh well all right let's go for the crit here so i want to try and do like a little devious uh what's it called um like slide crit combo but like dude sometimes the slide crit is just like too slow which is a good mix up but like they can m1 through it Ooh, wait 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 let me try this okay Pressure blast into the crit. Nice. I knew it. Okay, that's a that's a little neat tech we can try doing. Okay, into the slide crit. See what I'm saying? Like sometimes we just get hit during the slide crit a little bit, right? You can do the slide crit in the air though, right? Let's actually try that. Oh, oh, it actually hit. Okay, we'll pick up the rapid. Spawn in a clone right there. 
pressure blast him into the crit. Oh man, dude, that's dude, that feels like it's not true, but like that will always hit them. You know what I mean? Like so they got a parry that. Nice, dude. Poking him with that big ass crit as well. And all right, there's the end of that. I think big strength of the crit as well. Just that, dude. The way it's positioned animation wise, just like it looks like you know, like spears kind of poke outwards, right? And so a lot of people were able to like kind of s hold back then. It kind of feels like that, but like forward now. Like it has like a big ass poking range, which I really like about the critical dude. And the fact that you can kind of like what confirm it after like a pressure blast. Well, not confirm it, but like they have to deal with the hit. Like I actually really like that because it's an active hitbox. That's why the parry hits multiple times. As I was fighting another match, unfortunately my mic wasn't off for this, but look what happened. Tiger. Next up, we're against a curve player, bro. I'm actually not. I'm so, so upset, chat. I can't even lie to you. I'm so upset because, dude, uh, my fucking my audio was not playing on my mic, bro. So that match where I knocked that guy off, that was funny as hell, bro. And of course, my mic wasn't working. Like, uh, oh, into that. Oh, it doesn't even knock him back, dude. That you can actually go crazy with that and like force fence with a, your uppercut, right? Ah, he parried that. Okay, that's a shame. All right, into Rapid here, into the crit, into Coral. Nice, nice little combo right there. Starting to get a little bit better at this weapon, not gonna lie. See, why does Clone have to, why can Clone disappear on one hit? Like, that is dumb. Sing, into the crit. Uh, for some reason, I thought I was gonna, uh, what's it called? Wayward to this, uh, dude. Nice hit behind. Let's get the slide off. Oh, never mind, that missed. Oh, and we won anyway. All right, GG there. Hey, I'm starting to get a little bit better with this weapon. Um, I still need to like learn the combos of this build, dude. Literally, all the mantras are like level one. This build is absolutely so awful. Do not like make a crazy slots build. Um, if you're making a build with this, like you're probably just gonna be going medium heavy and actually getting talents. This build is god awful. But um, if I'm able to still do some work with it, it shows the potential strength of this weapon. I think this would be really, really good with like the right build and the right player. Um, so let's go into like one more match. All right, now we're against the Crypt Blade player. All right, parry that. Ooh, into the... Oh, can we slide here? Uh, we are on cooldown, all right. Prominence here. Into the slide, and nice. Okay, that's... I'm not gonna lie, that's our first hit we got on this dude after like losing like a bar, bro. but that's the consequence of having a build that has like no health. Into the crit. Nice, can we rapid slash into that? Coral Spear. Oh, he bent... Yeah, into that. Uppercut. All right, into the slide crit. Nice. The timing on that is like a little bit like, uh, what's it? It's a little bit slower than, uh, what's it called? Their base standing crit. Okay, nice. So I'm able to like go through their block a little bit if they're, uh, what's it called? If they do it a little bit too soon. Rapid slashes. Nice. Ooh! And the comeback, dude. Yo, GG. I, I don't know what it is because this build shouldn't even be doing that much damage, but we're actually like most of the time when we get a good amount of hits on somebody, they get knocked. We do have five proficiency, so that could be it. It makes me wonder if like silent heart builds with this like weapon would be like godly. Like six proficiency, max heavy, max medium, like maybe like 50, 55 damage M1 with like an enchant. Dude, that could be pretty crazy. And like the crit doing like 80, it could be like the new Railblade, because Railblade is I don't think it's that great anymore. But besides that, guys, that's gonna be pretty much all for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I think this crit's gonna be pretty amazing. Uh if the record will use it. And uh yeah, that's about it. Peace.